Blackley County Royals taking their show back on the road tonight, a place they apparently like to be. Beat Brooks County two weeks ago in Quitman, Lamar County last week in Barnesville. Tonight, they try and take out St. Francis and Alpharetta. The marvelous one, Marvin James, on the sidelines for this one. Good marvelous football Friday night sports fans. Somebody said you're looking for me. Well, here I go. Marvin James in Alpharetta, home of St. Francis, where they are hosting Blackley County. And the third time the Royals have been on the road. The first time in the playoffs, they went down to South Georgia and they took the dub away from Brooks County. Then they went to Lamar County last week, got the win, and now they're in Alpharetta looking to get the win again against St. Francis. It's time to wobble wobble with the highlights, and that means uh, get in there. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Collinsworth, let go. Cue the fireworks. It's time for some football Friday night Elite Eight style, aka the quarterfinals. And Blakely County brought a sea of purple and gold to the big city. Tonight's opening drive, they continue to light up the sky with a long bomb. St. Francis would score three plays later to take a 6-0 lead. Extra point was blocked by Tyler Wilcox. The Royals on offense now, not much early. The Knights bottle things up for a loss. Blakely stalls and it's forced to punt. St. Francis, next drive, it's not a long one. Jaden Jenkins connects with Cameron Armstrong and he's not gone, he's gone, gone. Number one gets all the way to the pylon and it's 13 to nothing Knights in a hurry. More Royals offense. Just like on Tecmo Bowl, when you pick the same play, there's no movement. BC must punt again. It is just that kind of night early for the Knights. Jaden Jenkins, the quarterback, sharing the rock. This time he finds a wide open Tristan Payne in the end zone. It's going down 20 to nothing. But not so fast, my friend. Blakely strikes back. Eli Mullis airs it out to a streaking Marcus Newsom. Counted that as six. And Blackley is on the board, 20 to seven. Back comes St. Francis, Jenkins to Payne. That's another home team connection. Six points for that, and Royals need to answer and force some stops. Senior Tyler Wilcox must have heard me because the free safety comes up with the interception and an unsportsmanlike late hit from the Knights. The Royals are back in business at midfield, but on fourth and seven, it's an incomplete pass and turnover on downs, 27 to seven at the half. It was a great run for the Royals this season, but it's just not their night. Let's go to the FFN scoreboard for the final. From one St. Francis to another, Mr. Malloy, take it away. In Alpharetta, Marvin James, 13 WMAZ, Football Friday Night.